maybe under you're right though i mean we could check because I, i'm only missing like two or three i think i have no idea what it'd be there's a couple places on that mine on that asteroid where you can get out oh crap i gotta go again we gotta go to the slums and then go out of the slums into the actual planet, or onto the actual planet, the planet part that we can explore. Yeah, I mean, and the splitting up of the areas into like. And that right there, that that's a glit. That, that's a something there. There's like an invisible wall that doesn't let you move for like the first second of loading in. It's the only place that does that, as far as I know. I wish I could see the entire planet when I land. I don't necessarily want to have to do this. Oh, there's one. Yeah, Oh, there's two. Oh, sweet mama. Okay. 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 Hopefully we just needed two more. That would be so great. That would be so great. Then I wouldn't have to go to the H027C place. Let's see which one's closer. The one that's directly behind me. And I know, I feel bad, because I know this game, this game already looks good, but it would look a lot better if I actually played it on a system that could run it. But I don't, so this is what we're stuck with. Come on, you can do it. I don't know if I should. I do love that they brought back the topography maps a lot. I do like that. I, see, I do have, Caillou, here's the thing, is I have that list. A list with location descriptions, but the problem is, is that I would land on a planet and I never actively search them out. I would only pick up the ones that happen to be on my way uh, or near my way. So I have no idea which planets I actually picked up from and which ones I didn't. And, and like which ones I only picked up a couple or none or all of them. And it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me anywhere in the game. I'm on the wrong side. Yep, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, look at these like 30 frames per second. It's so great. Uh, where is it? Is it? Ah, there it is. That one's gonna be a pain in the tuchus. Oh, maybe we can sort of cheat our way up this way. Cheat, 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 cheat. It's not actually a cheat. They probably put it in for this particular reason. I swear I picked this one up. I must have picked it up, um, and like didn't do it during a replay or something during that that cold dark age that we were in when I had to replay everything for like 30 hours and it was a terrible, horrible experience. Another eidetic trigger. Woo! Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. That's about 20 frames per second more than you were getting. Larry, Larry. We suffer for our, for our games, we suffer. Okay. Oh my gosh, sweet. This is great. This is going to be great. Um, I'm going to have to drive freaking forever to get there, but we're going to get there. Yeah. I do love driving this thing. I do, I do. You played Mass Effect Andromeda the flipbook? Oh my gosh. I feel you. There are times where I'm playing this game and I'm like, could you wait? What? Oh no. Hey, look. I now we're playing the flipbook. I can't see anything. It's fine. 
I'm gonna murder all my step my settlers here. I hate that we can't even go up slight in slight inclines! Slight inclines, you can't go up unless you change gears. It makes me so mad. No, there wasn't. I checked. There's not. It's a mineral thingy. I'm gonna have to go right and around, but... Oh god, I took the wrong road. Alright, let's just go here. And we'll take the northeast road. Here we go. Northeast, yep, okay. Yeah, look at this lovely little friggity fraggity bandit camp that I decided to just plop down one of my little outposty things and I'm like, here, yeah, let's just have it right here. La, 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 la. And one of the what? Right. There's no fast travel point here. There's this one. It's not any closer than this one was. And I keep going the wrong freaking... Why? Why? Just, where's the freaking road that I'm looking for? One to the right wasn't much closer. Oh my god. It is because it leads right to it. Well, this one supposedly led right to it as well. If I could take the right road, but I can't ever take the right road, so... Get off! Ow! There we go. Haha. <laughs> I just also hate that you can't clear an area that there's always been. It feels like an MMO. It feels like I'm playing an MMO because there's bandits I can never clear out. And there's Ket that I can never clear out. And I, I, I think I literally did like two two bandit, like bandit and Ket encampments. And when I realized it just kept coming back, I was like, no, peace. Bye. I ain't doing that again. Got them all. Got them all. Are you serious? This looks like a road. Why does it freaking look like a road, but it's not a road? I love this game. I love this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. If I say it enough, it's true. All right, where now, game? A sharp left. You'll calm down, and I'll calm down now. It's fine, we're all gonna calm down. We're all gonna calm down and talk about how much we love this game. And then after this, I'm gonna go look at those mods. I need mods to make the Nomad invincible and have permanent speed boost capabilities and be able to climb anywhere I want and have full speed all the time. Be able to take slight inclines without having to go down to a lower gear. And drop down to half my top speed. I do love the colors on Kadara though. Am I going the right way still? Okay. <laughs> this is such a calming game! Look at how calm and chill everybody is! <laughs> this is what I play to relax. I hate gear changing! I, I have to gear change when I go up a slight incline? That's BS, Kayuk. It's BS. A slight incline. Like, what kind of machine is this? That it can't just... Freaking the freaking the other one didn't have to go through all this trouble it, to maintain the same speed the whole time. Not the Nomad. What was it called? What was that one called? Mako. The Mako. We haven't seen this guy yet on this planet. What? The water here is so pretty. I love it. That is so cool looking. 
Looks like that was another memory gate, Sam. And the last. The final memory ah! is unlocked. Hopefully Please it works. Hopefully it works. I don't have any upgrades. As, uh, I don't. And I don't care. It's how real cars work. This is a space video game. And what I wanted, what I truly wanted, was a freaking hover car. But no, they gave us, we're in the future, and they gave us wheels again. My, my, the only thing I wanted out of the next Mass Effect game was a hover car, and they gave I us wheels. They gave us wheels. Am I, it's not gonna let me fast travel out of here. Because I'm technically in combat. Seshu, hi! You're right, Larry, I should save. I can't save, I'm technically in combat, apparently. Because if I'm within eyeball distance of an enemy, I'm in combat. That's how it works. <laughs> save. Hi, Seshu. Did I say hi? Hello, Seshu. I hope I did. I'm busy yelling at this game that I love dearly, near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'm gonna find that mod list. I have like 200 saves in this game. I thought it was gonna give me a limit, but apparently I was like unlimited saves, so by the time I realized that, it was a little too late. Oh, whoops. Come on, let's just, yeah, let's let's do it. We can do it, please. Um, I we are. I'm well. Larry's only slightly sick. Kai is only a little tired. We have pineapples now. That's how good we are. We have pineapples. I love pineapples. I actually didn't like pineapples when I was a kid until I went to Hawaii and ate a fresh pineapple. And it changed my life forever. And I ate so many, I actually burned the lining in my mouth. Like, I ate, I ate like, half of a whole pineapple, which is really acidic and not actually good for you. My mom was like, don't do it. And I was like, I want to, Mom. And I did, and I regretted it. I mean, it was good, but it was painful. Right, a family secrets. Yeah. Pineapples on pizza. Um, that's a sin. Uh, ban yourself. <laughs> Actually, I like pineapples on pizza. It's just not my fave. <laughs> I'll eat it though. Anomaly on sensors. Sometimes I do the anomaly on sensors just so she'll stop saying it. We didn't stable orbits. Yay. We're doing it. We're doing it. What a really pretty vague background. That looks like someone's kid through it. It's like an oil painting of like nothing in particular. Right, I only eat it if I have pepperoni on there. I don't like just pineapple at all. I, I eat it with like pepperoni on there. Or Canadian bacon, yeah, yeah. That guy looks like sort of the original Scott, but not my brother Scott, because my brother Scott looks like me. Let's do this. Hopefully it works. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Jean Garson said? The code word is Bulcrum? That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Ooh, I'm Ryder. excited! Oh man, this is exciting. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. Vicarian! I checked with my son, it's... Garrus. He works there. <gasps> CSEC. <gasps> yeah. Garrus is dead! He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is what? focus. Uh-huh. <gasps> but. Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. <gasps> 
this threat. <laughs> called Shepherd's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. <laughs> and it's so, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. <laughs> Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. So we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. Is it you the elusive man? I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. What? Hoped, it has suspended the progress. Wait, of what? Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. What? I'll tell the kids when the time is right. What? Mom is still alive? Sam. Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope for your mother. Oh my gosh. Mom is here? What? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. She was on her deathbed and he put her in stasis? That was your idea what happened to the Corian arc? Was that, um... Uh, oh yes, that should, I should probably have put in the title spoilers. Yeah, uh... <laughs> I act, that's what I should have made the title, dang it. Um... But hey, how about that? <laughs> I was actually kind of worried about live streaming this because I know not all of us have finished it, but but that Reapers followed them, Kayuk? That's a really good idea. No, what it is instead is a targeted freaking disease that kills the Drell of all people. My future like lovers, all of them are dying again. It's fine. I don't mind. I'm not crying on the inside. Uh, dad-in-law making an appearance, Larry? You're so right. Ev the eventual dad-in-law. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process. Oh! Through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth. Riley. Uh, every second of game, yeah, Parker. This is like late game stuff. So you, you temporarily stopped in drama. I don't. I mean, yeah. There's lots of games to be playing for sure. Reapers. What are those? <laughs> so this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself. To ensure you and Scott could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the North Wales, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of a race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information,
The Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50 Oh years my gosh, this is like Wow. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepherd this brings back memories. Memories. Uh, oh, Pargo, really? You, you gotta, well, you don't gotta. Actually, Andromeda is a standalone, but if you play the original trilogy, you'll play the Commander Shepard that they're mentioning here. And you play all three games as Commander Shepard. She I like that, Larry. Salute. A salute to good old Shepard. I want to figure out Gene Garson's murder. But why was Gene Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was or is Is it the, the elusive man? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come Shepherd! back? Shepard! Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are troubling. Oh my! Oh, <gasps> you have this information should anything happen to him. That's what you wish we could have solved, Kayuk, was uh, what happened to the Quarians? Got it. I need to go find mom. First, we need to unlock the things. But first, 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 I need to pee. And then we're gonna go look at the last memory, and then we're gonna go find mom. <laughs> Larry! No! No! That is not a command, Larry! <laughs> Kai, it's your job to use them. <laughs> For me. <laughs> well, Kayuk, uh, or pardon my parka, Kayuk made a bunch of very specific commands. And, uh, he's, he's very, he's very good at it. So good that I don't have to do anything. Tee-hee-hee. <laughs> Tee-hee-hee. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. Is that, 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 is that an, a word that people use? What? Another model. What? I've been looking everywhere for those models. And there was one just chilling in here? Your father's personal locks. It's true. They don't use them. <laughs> you demand Parga is so true. Uh, the real MVP. Kayuk is the true. He really is. He's he's Pog Champ. Uh, MVP. That's what he is. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. Woo! Woo! Good job, Caillou. You get all the commands. Make sure to do exclamation point command. Okay. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if I'm you'll glad you feel better. this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arms made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy <laughs> SR2, this is Dr. Liara. I've got goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. Oh, it's commands with the S, you're right. Ha ha, yeah, Parker, we're not that advanced with song requests. Okay, Larry, I was actually going to say, when she finished talking, I was going to say, does this, is this actually the Artisoni's voice actress, or did they just get all the voice acting 
like, and they put it through a program where it, like, made her say, you know what I mean? Like, they took all the, like, words that she said before, put them into a program so that it would say what they wanted her to say, but without the actual voice actress. It was just, like, programmed. Uh, that's what I was trying to think. It's probably for the best. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't play music usually. I don't play games where, you know, the, the games I play usually have it, have really good soundtracks going on anyway. Maybe you think, Larry, I don't know. I thought they got her back, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't, I don't actually know. Because to me, Liara's always sounded kind of stilted, especially in 2 and 3, um, but this was definitely a bit more aggravated. To Google, Kayuk! <laughs> to Google. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hacken has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, son. That's interesting, because in the original trilogy, they almost never mentioned a god, ever. Like, even when things were at their worst, they never mentioned, I hope God saves us. Like, it was, it was always, it was, that was never a, that was never something that was said. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. No! <laughs> <gasps> oh, that alarm sound! I'm trying really hard not to yell. I can see my voice starting to go into the red, but oh my god! <laughs> Did you hear that reaper noise? Oh, it just gave me goosebumps! I haven't heard that sound in a while. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yikes! Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about... Okay, the year before they left. I'm on the Nexus, and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks okay, like the year they left. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor, and the fact that we still don't know who they are. All these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. So Jin Garson really didn't... She didn't... She wasn't really the driving force behind all this. She was just, like, the puppet, basically. So many memories as the Reaper's alarm blares. You're like, ah, yes, so many memories. Hearing that Palavin command, though, that was, like, you... I mean, I remembered, like, that's, like, the first official mission you do after... Well, I guess after Mars. Like, you just... You go there, and I freaking... I was so mad. I, the first time I played Mass Effect 3, I was so mad. Oh. So mad. Like, just to that beginning, I didn't get past, I got past Palavin, and, I think, or Mene, something, Mene, is that the name of the moon? I got past that, but not much further, because I was just so mad at what happened to Earth. No, all good ones, Larry. <laughs> Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. What? I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy, and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. That's it? That's it? read those later okay so she is credited as the voice actress for the R and Andromeda um 
I just, okay, maybe that's it. I just, I always, I, at least in 2 and 3, I felt like whoever directed Liara's voice acting just really didn't do a good job at all. Like, she became so lackluster to me. Uh, oh, um, the Geth, that's an interesting, that's actually really interesting to say. Yeah, because true peace with the Geth didn't happen until, I mean, depending on what you did, didn't happen until after Mass Effect 3. So are the Geth somehow involved with this? Like, did we, did we bring, are there Geth programs hidden somewhere? And are they the, the, the good Geth or the bad Geth? Yeah, and we did at the beginning, that's how they used the, we used the Geth, like, uh, some sort of, like, telescope they had to see into Andromeda. She reined it in. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought, like, I, I think Yara's voice actress is great. She's fine. But whoever directed her in 2 and 3, I felt, just really just made me want to go, uh, like, I don't know. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching... Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans Did we listen to this before? that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains on Sam's a Geth program calling it. I have developed some practices that oh, yeah, can be used already read this. analyzing any ancient culture. Legion! You're right. They did want a future. Sam, is that okay? Is that literally all? Like, we're not gonna figure out anything about the benefactor. We're not gonna figure out anything definitive about Jane Garson's murder. Welcome back, Ryder. Like, what? What? No. Of course. Uh, nope, Kai. Kai's like, nope. Okay, well, all right then. They. I was thinking they had wrapped this game up pretty well. And like, you know, leaving it open for a sequel, but wrapping this game up, but nope, they didn't. They left that wide freaking open. Right, when you think about her as Scout Harding, it's all about the writing and direction. Larry, yeah, like, oh, I, I always forget that Scout Harding and Larry Tassoni have the same voice actress. Like, Scout Harding is this warm, inviting, interesting person, whereas Liara Tassoni in two and three just becomes this like literal, like, wall, like just, a bland wall that you talk to like who tries to have like empathy like because there's a, there's like a tone in her voice that kind of makes you go oh she's trying to be empathetic but it's failing miserably wait Joel's been asking you to talk in the hyperion and wait no yeah hyperion okay we got it to go we didn't steal we'll be, 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 be. you didn't even you didn't even know guy you didn't know she was the same voice actress i always forget but yeah like she is. She's the same voice actress. It's amazing what, like, writing and direction do. I mean, like, the voice actor or actress can, like, you know, interpret the character a little bit, but only so much they can do when the director's like, this is how it needs to be done. Mind blown all over the walls, the blandly are to Sony walls. All right, spoilers, we're gonna go find mom. Uh, right, we're going into the, we're, we're picking up my brother. And he's in the medical bay? Yeah, I think we've got stuff to talk about. <laughs> Perhaps we could exchange uh, hack tech sometime. Where's my brother? Where's my brother? Oh, where, 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 where? Oh, hi, bro. You're already here? Okay, this is the pod you told me about. Who's Elizabeth Riley? Uh. If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Well, Mom, of course. I mean. 
Hold on a second. <laughs> Elizabeth Riley. Her initials. ER. Are you telling me? I saw Dad's last memory. ER is Ellen Ryder. He put her here. Scott, it's Mom. I don't... How... Wow. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is incredible. So Dad being a pain in the ass finally paid <laughs> off? I want to shake his hand. And then punch him. <laughs> Why didn't he tell her? I didn't punch him. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. Well, let's get her out of there. No, wait, 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 wait. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive. Oh my gosh! She's right there! She's right there. So we figured out where she is and she's right there. We could touch her, but we can't talk to her or we can't actually touch her and we can't. Oh my gosh, it's got to be so frustrating. Like, like your mom that you thought was dead is right here. And, and in 600 years, we haven't made it. Of course, we've been asleep for most of the 600 years. But like, you know, why didn't we have computer programs running in the background trying to figure stuff out? And we never will. Shut up, Kai. Don't t don't talk like that, man. We'll get a game in ten more years. Ten more years, and and, and Bioware and well, EA will decide that it's been enough time, and that all PR is good PR, even if it's bad PR. And uh, maybe if Anthem does well, they'll actually be able to put a decent team on the next Andromeda game. We have to hope that Anthem does well because then Bioware will not become a sinking ship. Even though if, but if Anthem does well, it might just lead them down the path of multiplayer online shooter, but we have to hope. <laughs> I wish we could start a Kickstarter to like free Bioware from EA, but it would never work like that because then everybody would feel super, super entitled. Like if it was funded by like people, by like normal people, regular people, like, then everybody be like, and this is how you have to do it. You get like a thousand different people telling you what they want from the game, and the developers are like, mm, nah. <laughs> Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. We're not losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen That's Ryder. true! It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill together. I would actually really like to play my brother because, like, to play Scott. Because, uh, I think, I think Tom Taylorson, I think is his name, the voice actor, is actually really, really good. I like him a lot. <laughs> but we won't, guys. We will. You want to see Anthem 2? Sashu? Yeah. I'm not bitter, you're bitter, guys. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation, but there are definitely days where I'm like, we're screwed, we're never, it, it, nothing, nothing good is ever going to happen ever again, and I just get so bitter. But, we have to remain strong and positive, at least sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I think I, it's going to be kind of a short stream today, I gotta go help with dinner and stuff, but thank you guys for coming by, I know it was kind of a surprise stream. Um, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. La la la. Let me save the game before I forget. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> I uh, I don't know if you want to see any more Andromeda eventually, but uh, I would like to maybe stream it a little bit more. But we'll see. Well, yeah. I hope you guys have a good day, and and I hope I hope you're all I hope you're all doing well and and all that you know what i'm saying so <laughs> kai, when we leave kai's just gonna be crying still 
Maybe I won't stream Andromeda. It seems to be a bit of a bitter pill. <laughs> seems to bring up some some bad memories, some bad thoughts. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate I really do. I know I say that a lot. I probably gets old, but I really do appreciate it. It's fun. I want to try doing Wednesdays again more, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Bye.